What's going on everybody? Your boy Juan Valdez coming at you guys with a brand new video and today I'm gonna be sharing with you guys some of the things that I learned from some of my biggest mentors guys like Ty Lopez, Grant Cardone, Alex Mayer. For those of you guys that don't know who these people are, they're actually multi-millionaires and guys that have achieved massive levels of success. Now what I wanted to talk about is one principle that I learned from these guys. So for those of you guys that are brand new into my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, and for those of you guys that want to see a lot more videos like this where I share some of the things that I learned, you know, from some of my mentors and some of the resources I used to learn from, you know, make sure you leave me a thumbs up, hit that like button. Some of you guys that follow me on social media know that I'm huge on securing the bag. Basically securing the bag, the, the urban def definition of it is an expression used to describe and the act of taking or obtaining advantage of a situation to keep something of value. So long story short, if you have any good opportunities coming your way, make sure you secure that bag. Put it in the headlock. All right. For today, you know, that's the bag I'm securing. See, as you can see, it's locked and loaded, it's strapped up, it's good to go. So, one of the things that I really learned from across these, uh, you know, truly successful entrepreneurs is that, you know, they really take risk. And obviously, you guys have heard like, hey, take risk, yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, what does that really mean, right? And how do you really do it? You know, when these heavy entrepreneurs like Ty Lopez, Grant Cardone, Alex Mayer, when, when these guys take risk, they don't just take any kind of risk, they take calculated risk. They weigh the pros and cons of the decision before they actually do it, right? So they already know that this risk either completely worth it or it's gonna be obviously a loss, right? So they, out, they weigh out the potentials of how it can go. For example, I actually had this book back here by Jeff Bezos. For those of you guys, this book is called The Everything Store. It's by Jeff Bezos, the founder of Amazon, for those of you guys that don't know. And of course, you know, now Jeff Bezos became the richest man in the world. I believe he's at the number one of the Forbes list. And the reason why he's able to do that is because obviously he built a company, Amazon. But before he built this company, Amazon, he used to work a nine to five job in the corporate world. And he had a job where he was making like about 250 grand a year. He had another vision for him. He had this vision about Amazon. You know, originally it was supposed to be a bookstore and that's all it was supposed to be. So he actually left his job using this regret minimalization framework and the way that he basically thought about it is can potentially launch this online bookstore that can obviously make me a little less but I'll be a lot happier doing it and obviously now you guys see what Amazon is today one of the biggest companies in the world and they're completely changing the game right almost everybody shops from Amazon so when it comes down to it one thing that I learned you know, for sure that not only Jeff Bezos, but all these guys like Ty Lopez, Grant Cardone, Alex Mayer, they all do, is that they take huge calculated risk. What I wanted to kind of share with you guys is, you know, you guys should, you know, be taking not only regular risk, but calculated risk, right? So for me personally, you guys have heard my story about how I got started in e-commerce. For me, I pretty much weighed the facts of, you know, okay, so I'm doing door-to-door -door sales now, I'm making, you know, decent money, but I wasn't as happy, you know, doing door-to-door -door sales because again, I didn't have the time freedom that I wanted. You know, I had to really be out there again in horrendous weather conditions. I mean, we live in California, so the weather here, you know, we were going door-to-door -door was brutal because it used to, it would be like 80 degrees or 90 degrees and we'd be outside, you know, prime time when the heat is obviously shining on us and not in a good way. Like DJ Khaled usually says that sun is shining on me, not in that way. And it's not as comfortable being out there. So, you know, my thought process was, I'm doing door-to-door -door sales now and you know i'm making decent money now i can potentially do e-commerce okay maybe at first i'll definitely be making less money than i'm making in door-to-door -door sales i'll probably like what i'm doing because it's going to be a brand new set of skills that i'm going to be learning and it's probably going to lead to more opportunity so i'm like okay if i can take on a brand new opportunity that's going to involve me learning new skill sets and could lead to more opportunities and potentially even make more money than I'm making in door door sales, then, you know, okay, why not try it out? So when I started looking up to the things that these guys are doing, like how Jeff Bezos, you know, made that, that leap from having a job that was paying him about 250K a year to starting a bookstore that was just an idea and seeing his success with this really motivated me to you know take calculated risk a lot of these guys the way that they achieve their success by you know taking risk you know for you guys watching you may be in different different positions where you can just take a risk right now but again if you plan it out and you you know you put together 
somewhat of like a strategy to take this calculated risk, like potentially maybe starting, you know, getting started in e-commerce, maybe start, you know, affiliate marketing, whatever the case may be, you know, just weigh the potential. Think about whatever it is that you're doing right now, you know, however much money you're gonna make, are you gonna be happy doing it? for however long it takes you, let's say it takes you, you're making six figures a year, or maybe five figures a year. Will you getting involved maybe in e-commerce, you know, give you more freedom? Is there a potential that, you know, getting involved in e-commerce, you'll make a little less, but you'll also be happier, right? So you have to think about the potential that it can lead to compared to another opportunity. So there's different factors when it comes down to it that you should always be, that you should think about, you know, am I happy? How much money am I making right now? What's the potential of getting involved in another opportunity, right? And once you weigh the pros and cons, the potential that the opportunity you're thinking about getting involved with has, that's when you can, you know, kind of decide if it makes sense to do it or not. But again, you know, nobody made it anywhere without taking any risk. That's like a fact now that I see that across all the successful people that there are in the world, they all took huge risk. So if there's any takeaway, you know, that you guys can have from this video, it's to, you know, take calculated risk and, you know, have a strategy behind it. So if you guys got any value from this video, again, make sure you leave me a thumbs up, like the video, and any questions you guys have about taking calculated risk, make sure you leave me a comment below. I'll be responding. I'll be responding to as many questions as I can. And of course, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, join the V fam, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.